So the first thing is I just want to clarify that the information for consumers with food allergy will be listed either in the ingredient list or the contained statement. So it might not be fully disclosed in the ingredient list. If so, a contained statement is required. So they would have to look at both of those areas and not only look for contained statements because it could be disclosed in the ingredient list. In terms of precautionary allergen label, I would like to say that there are certain products that are at greater risk of containing allergenic ingredients unintentionally. And those are products that I think that consumers with food allergies should be aware of, that they should always be purchasing those that are maybe manufactured in a dedicated facility. Milk-free dark chocolate is one of those. Because of the way that milk-free dark chocolate is manufactured and the way that those lines are clean, they can't introduce water into that cleaning process. So the machines are generally scraped. And because of that, there is usually residual. And when researchers have tested milk-free dark chocolates for the presence of milk, the vast majority of them actually contained milk protein. And the same goes for peanut and tree nut. So you want to make sure that the chocolate that you are purchasing is manufactured on a dedicated milk-free or peanut and tree nut-free line, depending on what your allergen is. So that's a product that I would say, you know, use those without precautionary statements and maybe even from dedicated facilities. 